Hello all, and welcome to the DataMe sponsored data integration for native Android applications. Today, we will show you how to provide data-free navigation to your end users by integrating your Android application with the DataMe sponsored data SDK. Let's open our Android project on Android Studio. First off, let's get the integration manual and our API key from the DataMe developer portal. You can find the developer portal at developer.dataMe.com. If you do not have the login information, please follow the sign up process after pressing the sign up button. I will log in with my credentials here. We can download the integration manual from the developer kit, so let's go ahead and get it. Next, we need to add our app as an asset on the DataMe portal. Just click on Add New and follow the steps. Select Android as the operating system and fill in the app name. For the app ID, use the app's package code. You can find this inside the app level Gradle file. Here, my app ID is following. Just copy and paste in the portal. Once we submit, we should receive the API key in an email. Here is the key. Please be extra careful not to share the API key outside the organization. Now, back to our Android Studio and let us follow the manual. The first step for integration is to add the DataMe SDK to the Gradle files. Let's open our top level Gradle file and declare DataMe repository as mentioned in the manual. Now let's add the DataMe library and the support library in the app level Gradle file as given in the document. The manual now says to add the required permissions in the Android manifest.xml. Let's go ahead and add those. It also mentions to add the declaration for DataMe Intent Service. So here we go. Before we move on to the API integration, I would like to also point out that if your app uses ProGuard obfuscation, you need to add the required configuration as mentioned in the document. Okay, so now we are in the API integration step. We will be integrating with the basic in its sponsored data API. As mentioned in the document, we need to call the API at the beginning of the onCreate function of the application class. Now there are two possibilities. Either your app already has an application class where you can integrate the API, or there is no application class in the project, just as the case in my project currently. So we will create the application class first and then integrate the API. You can just create a new Java file and name it accordingly. We need to extend the Android's application Java.
Let us now integrate with the Init Sponsored Data API as mentioned in the document. Let us look at the parameters which need to be passed to the API. SDK key. This is the API key which was generated by the developer portal and can be fetched from the email. App context. This is the context which the SDK uses to initialize itself. Here we can just pass this object. User ID. This is the user ID of the end user like the user email, phone number, or any other user information which is generated by your application. Here, we will just pass an empty string. Icon ID. This is the icon ID of the notification icon which is displayed by the SDK when the data is sponsored. For now, we will pass negative 1, which means SDK will not show any notification. Show SD message. Let's pass the parameter as true, which means that the SDK will show the message to the end user which lets them know that their navigation is sponsored. Exclusion domains. This is the list of domains which needs to be excluded from sponsorship. We will pass this as null. Now you can build and test your application. Thank you so much and have a nice day.